All right, this is the moment of truth. Is this any good against the Stormcaller? Oh, Mega Abomination, it's nice to see you too. We'll get right to you in a second. We already got him down to... He's already dead. He's dead within like four swings. The combat knife might secretly be one of the best weapons in the game, maybe even better than the Tomfa, which is an absolutely crazy thing to say since the Tomfa has taken the zombies meta by storm, literally. Because when people found out how fast the Tomfas can kill the Stormcaller, it started quickly moving up the ranks of the zombies weapon meta. So we're going to be testing it out today to see if that's true. We're going to be trying against the Mega Abomination. We're going to be trying against the Stormcaller. We'll be trying against all kinds of elites and zombies in every tier. And also, quick shout out to Lego for letting me know about this weapon. You're the GOAT. I already went up and set up a tombstone, so we got plenty of money to work with here. Uh, let's go ahead and pack-a-punch this real quick. Throw a quick decoy. And let's get our Storm Ender pack-a-punch. This is one of the best support weapons in the game. And in my opinion, melee weapons, they can do a lot of damage, but they are insanely risky to use. Getting up close against zombies, especially like somewhere in here, like near tier three, you can go down really, really fast. So our Storm Ender here will help us slow down some zombies so we can actually get some nice hit against the elites that we're trying to take out. And I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate for us. The Storm is over here in tier three. So it looks like we'll be fighting the Storm Caller over here. But uh, I think I might want to go pick up a few extra self-revives just to be safe. All right, this is the moment of truth. Is this any good against the Stormcaller? Oh, Mega Abomination. It's nice to see you too. We'll get right to you in a second. We already got him down to... He's already dead. He's dead within like four swings. I could even like process a whole sentence there without him just already dying. That's insane. Okay. All right. I see you, Combat Knife. I'll be right with you, Mega Abomination. I need some decoys. This is going to be me and you. That's actually insane. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. It actually might be faster than the Tomfa. But granted, when I used the Tomfa against it, my Tomfa was only epic rarity. This one's up to legendary. Oh, perfect. Shoot your lasers. Oh, maybe not so perfect. I could not get in your face. Why don't you come outside the storm? Let's have a nice little fight out here. Okay, Aether Shroud, and he's charging. Damn, you should have been shooting your laser or something. Every time I go up to him with his mouth open, he just immediately closes it. And now he's actually standing on me. I'm getting Goomba stomped. We are running through these self revives fast. I knew we would we would need a lot of them. Let's try to lead him over here so we can keep getting decoys. I guess he was too scared to follow us. Coward. Did he disappear? No, he's right back in the middle of the storm. Get out of there. You know what? Actually, we're going to go find a different one. I called him the coward, but I'm running. There we go. This is a much better arena to fight it in. We don't even have to run to go get our decoys. But he's already shooting his laser. Can we actually even hit him in the face? No. The lunge on this is so weird. It wants me to like hit him right in the middle of the chest, like right under the where the hatchlings are at, whatever the hell they're called. His little nutsack zombies. Let me try to get an Aether Shroud. There we go. We got one. Let's wait for him to shoot his laser again. There we go. Aether Shroud immediately. Yeah, where are you going to shoot that laser to? Nowhere. Did we break one of his faces? We did. Let's go. We actually might have broken two. He got to half health and just, what was that? Like four or five swings? And he's not happy about it. We just have to wait for our opening. Oh, every time we go to hit him, he closes his mouth. He's baiting us. And these zombies are being dicks too, not dropping any armor for us. Oh, come on. Can't escape the laser. Oh no, we got a helpful Harry over here. I don't need help. Leave the area. Vacate the premises. Oh no, he used a deadbolt turret. Damn it. We're gonna have to go fight another one. You know, that's fine. He can have it. Maybe we'll get a hvt one from this contract oh we did let's go it'd be much more rewarding to kill this one you know maybe we needed the practice fight against that one anyways lets us know that if we don't got an opening don't even try to attack it we only have one self revive shit no going down all right, we have one zombie here can we kill it oh it's a two hit kill on a fully armored zombie in tier three that's not bad it's a little dangerous to go for what's going on buddy i'm literally just gonna run around until i have an aether shroud and he's lasering and that's it there we go he's lasering immediate aether shroud Right in his mouth. Broke his face. I think we broke two of them. Oh, he's already on one shot. We were really fumbling that last fight. Oh, and now we got two of them. This isn't fair. Two against one. Oh, okay. The other mega abomination just took him out. He just finished him off for me. Cool. I'll take it. He exploded himself out of embarrassment. That's fine. You know what? We've, we've struggled enough. Oh, and we didn't have dead shot that whole time. Not that that would have really made a difference with the knife. Or could it? Do you get more critical damage with the knife and dead shot? And I think we all know how this is going to go, but out of curiosity, tier two zombie. Oh, see, he's just too scared. He just dies. Other tier two zombies, though, just go down instantly. The other one was smart. He said, nah, -uh, I ain't getting stabbed. They'll take myself out. What about uh, just a random roaming disciple? A two shot? Easy. That was all feet shots, too. Imagine if I was like Shaq. I could have just stabbed him right in the face and insta-killed him. 
Ooh, against hordes of zombies, even in tier two. Still not good. And you, you can barely even call that a horde. That was like three zombies. Oh, wait, what? If you hit them directly in the helmet of their armor, it just breaks it and doesn't kill them. This thing is so weird, man. They can do a crazy amount of damage, but only in like certain situations and you have to hit the right spot. I guess we can take a look at the swing speed too. It's not like terribly slow, but it's noticeably slow compared to like the Tomfa. And I think when you actually land hits, the, the time between swings is slower. Or at least whenever you're landing hits on armor and breaking it. And again, I'm pretty sure we all know how this is going to go. Let's try it against a bounty here in tier two. All right, Mangler. What's this doing to you? <laughs> two shot in you, apparently. I honestly thought I was going to take a bit more because Manglers have a decent bit of armor on them. I thought I might have to break it before I kill them. I must have just hit all the right spots. I, I hit the Mangler's G spot. And someone in chat was talking about the Red Worm. You know what? I'm down. I don't know how much help I'm going to be with my knife and my Storm Ender, but at least I can play support for them. I can slow the zombies down, have them fight it. Let's try to make some money so we can bring in some sentry guns. Something I'm noticing though here in tier three, you can't outrun the zombies with the knife out, which is unfortunate. I mean, you can a little bit. But the super sprinters will catch up to you and the hellhounds especially. So you're still better off running with your fists out or swapping to the storm ender and shooting the zombies every once in a while. And just because I said we would test it on tier one zombies, it fucks them up pretty good. We got enough time for one more bounty. Let's see who our unlucky bastard is. Oh, and it's a mega abomination. Couldn't think of a better elite to end it on before we do the worm. Let's just hope it don't knock us too many times before we get to end it. Here we go. Already lasering. Broke its face. We break another. Oh, got it. That was like a, a much smoother run. I was fully locked in. But we got to get moving. There's only a minute 29 left until the storm gets over to where we got to fight the worm. And it's all the way over here. We're in a race against the circle. Oh, we got a rift. We're going to make it there with plenty of time. Oh, we got a nice little group for this too. Oh, and here's the storm. I hope they got all the USBs because I don't. All, right, all the reactors are activated. I'm going to start putting my sentries down. Damn, that's a lot of fucking sentry turrets. Damn right it is. Now, I've only really done this solo. Never beat it solo. And I've done this once. Well, I guess twice with uh, a few other people. Only beat it once. The other time I crashed. So I'm really hoping we can beat this and I can get the legendary Aether Tool schematic. Let's see if we can actually do some damage to it with this. Nope, I, I can't even reach it. It's like Diglett Mound is in the way. I think I did get one hit marker though. <laughs> it's literally doing nothing. All right, let's play support. A Mega Bomb, what? What's a Mega Abomination doing over here? That can happen? I'll take him on. You guys deal with that. Come here. Oh, it's not dying. It refuses to go down. This is a madhouse. There's so much going on. We got people going down. We got nothing but just UI over here. Nothing but blue dots from the sentries. But he's already like half health. We're doing decent so far. Come on, I want to hit this bastard. Come on. Why can't I get him? We might need the, the scorcher to actually hit him. This is crazy. His health is getting drained. Oh, my health is getting drained. I just got eight up. Oh, there's just so much going on. I'm literally just taking a free ride. There's another mega abomination over there. Is this a thing? There's three of them. These things just spawn when you're, you're fighting the red worm with a lot of people. That's fucking wild. I didn't know that. Yo. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Where's all the loot? I'll be the first one to grab the loot. Give me a VR 11. Please, legendary Aether tool. No. Well, maybe next time. GG's. GG's. But the combat knife seems pretty good. Is it better than the Tomfa? I think so. Damage wise, it can take out elites faster than about anything. Against actual zombies though, one on one, you definitely got them beat. If there's like even three of them, chances are you might go down unless you're playing it super safe. This could definitely benefit from like Cold War system of every time you get a melee kill or deal melee damage, you get a little bit of health back. So if they add that in, that'd be a huge buff to both this and the Tomfa. But as it stands right now, it's a pretty niche weapon. So if you need to kill the Stormcaller for like the challenge, Go ahead and use the Tomfa or this. Both of them take it out pretty good. Or if you want to take out a few elites, maybe this is good for doing like some bounties to get some cash for a tombstone or something. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.